guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chriselle Siobhan, aka Hurriet the Spy, Hurriet Tupman, Autumn Hurry Name. Cause guess what we gonna do today? Today, I'm going to show you how to wax your own pit. Okay? Do it yourself. Pit waxing. Now I saved all of this for y'all. And I'm only doing this video for y'all because people ask me why my underarms ain't black. And I tell them because I wax my underarms. I don't shave them. I don't use razors or nothing. So, uh, yeah. I wax my pits. And, yeah. I don't even remember the last time I did it. It's starting to grow back slower. Just like if you got your private area waxed. The more you do it the longer it takes for the hair to grow back. But, anywho, it is not no shave November, but it's February. And I have my little, can y'all even see this? It's like plugged up. But this is my at home waxing uh, warmer. So I got the wax beads, I warm it up in here. I warm it up at the top, at the max uh, temperature. And then I cut it down, like after all the beads melt, I cut it down to like 160 or whatever. But I tilt my little tin pan over to the side so all the wax can come running to one side and I let it cool off a little bit because you don't want it too, uh, you don't want it too watery. So, I think I let these beads warm up for maybe like 10 minutes at 240. That's the temperature. And um, now I'm just letting it cool off because you want it still warm and still a little bit loose, but like as soon as you pull it out, you want it to get to your underarms and then stiffen up. So, I got this off Amazon. I get everything off Amazon. <laughs> but when I first bought it, it came with different beads. It was like black beads, blue beads, purple. And um, yeah, I just got different color beads. I used it, wax, boom, bam, boom. Now, this at home situation, I could say you would, you can do your bikini line, just kind of like stand over top of a towel or like a towel floor. Don't do it on carpet because you won't be dropping wax every which way. But um, yeah, I did this and was standing over my bathroom rug and the wax dropped on it and I was pissed, okay? So stand on the actual towel on the floor or put a towel that you don't care about underneath you and then you can do it. But I go to European Wax Center because I don't got time to be stressing myself out. I tried it once and it was wax everywhere, so I don't got time. So now I just wax my pits, and if somebody need me to wax their chin or something, I do that. But yeah. So for this, it's okay. Yeah, I want to. Is it stiff enough? Yeah. So I just put it on here. Now this is still kind of warm, but it's not to the point where it's gonna burn me or nothing. And then you want it to be thick enough for you to be able to pull it. And then when I'm leaving off, I just twirl it. So the wax can stay here and not be dragged across the room with me. So yes, I let this stiffen up. And I just stand here looking like this crazy for a minute. And yeah, I'm going to rip it against the grain. So I'm going to rip it up first, then I'm going to do another layer, and I'm going to rip it down. Okay? So if you want to test to see if it's stiffened up enough, you could just tap it, and if nothing sticks back on your finger, then we're almost ready to go. I just like to push it in, so I know it's going to get on these hairs. But um, I like to count makes me feel better about life <laughs> and I just prepare myself for what I'm about to do so I just hit a one two three shakow and I rip it off 
<laughs> and the hair is gone. And then I do it another time, going pulling it downwards. And then after those two pulls, I tweeze whatever's left because I'm not gonna keep waxing and ripping and pulling, okay? So y'all gonna count with me? Are we ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Yeah, see? <laughs> and as you can see, oh, can y'all see that the hair is here? Chow. Woo, chow. But look at that dog, okay? So, I just got my bracelet cord in my hair. Okay, so, as you can see, majority of the hair came out. Now, we're going to do it one more again. And, you're gonna get this last little bit of hair left. And this, this part I like to like stretch my pit because you see how if you keep it like this, you gonna miss some spots because it's like little folds and wrinkles. So, I like to pull it out like this and then spread the wax on so that way I'm getting in all these little creases and folds. So, let's get us some wax. See how it's not drippy for real? Okay. Boom. Y'all get a kick out of seeing me torture myself, huh? Crash done. But this is really easy and it makes your pits really pretty and you don't gotta be worrying about razor bumps and black pits. And I'm gonna show y'all what I put on my pits after I do this too, okay? Y'all ready for the countdown? One, two, three, Yahtzee! <laughs> okay, so here is my pit after two snatches, okay? So, I'm just gonna get up on this mirror and pull these last little bit of hairs that are left behind. crazy when I get to the right underarm because I'm right-handed so I be looking real crazy trying to tweeze with my left hand but I get it done Right, all the hair is gone. Yes, we have us a bald baby pit. It's a little bit red, but we gonna be all right. So, 
Next thing that I do is I take my witch hazel toner, witch hazel with apple cider vinegar, and I clean my pit because you don't want to do this when you're fresh out the shower because your skin is sensitive from the hot water and the um the wax isn't going to stick. So you want to do this before you get in the shower. But again, I just tone it with the witch hazel apple cider vinegar toner or whatever toner you have. And no more Harriet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next pit. So we're just going to speed up this because I. You want to wipe your pits before you do this too, because you might be sweaty. But um. Ooh, child. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I'm back in the pan, getting my wax together. Okay. My bits have gotten way lighter because when I was young and dumb and nobody told me don't use razors, I was just raising away. Every time I seen some hair, yank, mm -mm. So they are. is gone hair is gone all right so this is my little set is this this is the temperature dial so you turn it off when it's unplugged and I turn it all the way to the max when I'm starting and I warm the stuff up and then when I'm melted when all the beads are melted I cut it on the lowest temperature let it cool off and then I take my oh crap take my little stick now they come full size stick but I always cut them in half because I know how to save money okay but yeah and you just slap it on there let it stiffen up 
and you snatch it off and then I clean my pits with some toner and then I get in the shower or then I use this deodorant if I am running out this is the deodorant I use my friends put me on to this because it don't like stain your clothes or leave white streaks Boom. and it smell bomb no aluminum no parabens and no five how the hell you say this word <laughs> phthalates don't, don't give me the line okay I'm not a damn scientist I just use stuff but um yes this is the arm and hammer essentials deodorant I love it and it doesn't leave my arms feeling wet or anything and it doesn't stain up my shirt okay and my pits is back cute yes but um they got these waxing kits on Amazon I think I want to pay I pay like 25 30 dollars for these but they have them all on here it came with the beads came with the sticks when you run out of the beads you can go back on Amazon and re-up on the beads but yeah, you can use this to wax your eyebrows. You can use this to wax your mustache, the hairs in your nose, your pits. I would say panty line. Don't be trying to give yourself a Brazilian. <laughs> you gonna look a patchy mess, okay? Cause you can't see down there. It's, it's a whole lot going on. So don't even try to do it this, okay? But I'm, um, yeah. You can wax everything but your whole bag. So yeah, $25, $25, $30. They got something that's like $40, $50. I don't know why you would spend that much because you don't have to. And um, yeah, it literally takes me 15 to 20 minutes depending on when I pull it, how much hair is left over. And because I'm retarded with using my left hand, it just took me longer to tweeze that part out. But be back cute and I can't break my hands now. <laughs> but yes that is today's video let me know if you want to go buy this kit and try it out and torture yourself like i do for the low low or if you gonna keep going to the wax and getting everything waxed okay but yes this is just something i have as a makeup artist people ask me to wax their faces and stuff sometimes so that's what i use it for and i was like why not wax your pits girl stop shaving them things tripping don't use razors people stop using razors if you cannot take a wax or you don't want to go get wax get the little clipping trimmers they're not like clippers that you can cut your hair with but they're like they got little coochie clippers <laughs> you can matter of fact let me show y'all so this is the little set it's the Remington set I got it from Target and this is the clippers here like it's the little trimmers so if you don't want to wax, don't use the razor, use this. Zen, zen, zen. This is like $17 at Target. And it comes with this one. It has three different heads on it. So this is the trimmer. This is to get it low cut like buzz, all the fuzz away. And then this you can use in the shower to like exfoliate whatever you just um, clipped. So yeah, stop using razors. Like, uh-uh, ladies, it's not cute. Nah, sis, you got options. Clip it or snatch it with the wax. All right, so that concludes today's video. Let me know if you all enjoyed watching me torture myself, snatching my pits off, if you're gonna try it out, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all later. Hit that bell and them thumbs up too while y'all rolling out. Toodaloo.